the main thing I guess that we can expect from episode one is how we deal with Sherlock and John being reunited, I guess. It's no surprise to anyone who follows the show, Sherlock isn't dead. We know that there's got to be a reckoning of how he did it, how he survived that fall, because we've all seen it, John's seen it, he's jumped off the roof of Bart's, and yet he's alive. I want to sit in the, in the audience at the BFI or somewhere and watch the sequence where John and Sherlock meet again. It goes on for a long time, uh, and I've watched it many, many times, mm. and I absolutely love it. It makes my hair stand around. It's just, a, it's so beautifully played. More interestingly than the how, I guess, is the the why and the meat on those bones of Sherlock having been away and how he comes back and tells John that he is still alive, which is a very dangerous thing to do on many levels. It's dangerous emotionally, but it's dangerous <laughs> physically because he knows John will be immensely upset. Sherlock's journey in the third series is reassimilation. It's very much from a point of view of learning and adjusting to being brilliant, to having to confront something which points out that he is frail, that he's human, he has weaknesses and vulnerability. There's a lot to do in this one. There's the explanation, there's the reunion, and there's a new arch villain. What's quite interesting about the directors, I mean, you have three different directors here, and, and it's sort of a health, not competition as much, but they all want to do something that somebody hasn't done before. So to Sherlock, each one wants to add something fresh and new, a different kind of shot of equipment. We just had one recently where the sort of wood goes around with a bicycle wheel and... You know, it's, it's lovely when you see something exciting and fresh that you've never seen before. We were looking really for an obvious arc to a third series. And it, what presents itself straight away is, is the incredible drama of him coming back from the dead, which is covered in, in Doyle's original. Dr. Watson essentially forgives him very quickly. And we thought it would be very interesting, entertaining territory and great stuff for Martin and Benedict to act if, if he doesn't take it lying down, as it were. But then Sherlock comes back to a world he expects to be exactly the same and discovers that nothing will be the same. 